Mercury Nozzles. Hi, I'm Craig Duck, President and Missionary of the Fellowship of Christian Firefighters, here with another short video to help you in your walk as a Christian firefighter. You know, our department here recently just bought a Mercury Nozzle. Uh, some other manufacturers call it a Blitz Nozzle, but this thing is right here on the, the back step of the fire truck and it's uh, readily available to be quickly deployed uh, on a fire. And so basically how it works is you just uh, come out and you, you, you pull this lever, you, you take this uh, uh, mercury nozzle which is attached to three inch hose, you take it to the front door or the, the, wherever the most uh, fire is showing and, and you can go ahead and charge it at 170 uh, PSI at the pump because we have 300 foot of three inch, uh, 20 PSI per, uh, per 100 foot. Um, the nozzle needs 100 PSI in order to get a 500 gallons per minute and, and then our um, device here has 10 PSI so I uh, hope I did the math right and that adds up to a, a 170 PSI at the pump. Uh, but you would put it on the ground and open up these, uh, um, open up the legs and you'd be able to uh, move it 30 degrees in either direction and uh, 30 to 60 degrees up and down. You can knock down a lot of fire quickly um, but it, it can be rapidly deployed to that area. The beauty part about this nozzle, what I like about it the most, is once you get a lot of that visible fire knocked down, you can take this off, add a uh, two and a half to inch and a half uh, female to male reducer, put your inch and three quarter hose on, you know, 150 foot at least, and uh, be able to go inside and knock down the rest of the fire and, and, and check for extension. So, so this mercury nozzle is very good um, at uh, uh, taking care of fires quickly uh, and, you know, again, rapidly de deploying this thing um, to the front of the building. I love the book of James. You know, James is one of those hard-hitting books, very practical, uh, really digs into your life and, and you start reading it and you're like, wow, there's, there's things I, I need to work on uh, in my spiritual walk with Christ. And, and so James 1.19 says this, Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. And you know, in the fire service, we have temptations every single day. And um, uh, we're, we're tempted in a whole variety of different ways, each person tempted in different ways than, than other people. Um, but one of the temptations that, that we face is the use of our tongue. And uh, James would be quick to point out that uh, uh, we need to harness that tongue for good and not for bad. You know, you look on social media and, and it's just full of, of people bashing other fire departments or criticizing uh, what somebody did on an emergency scene or, or maybe you don't like somebody personally so you, you, you bash them on social media. You hear it around the station and, and, and just throughout the, uh, the country as you go from, from place to place. And you know, James would say, uh, brothers, this should not be. Uh, we should not be using our tongues uh, to put anybody down. In fact, he would say, um, like this mercury nozzle behind me here, uh, it's quick to be deployed to the front of the building. James would say, be quick to listen and not speak. And you know, sometimes you can learn a whole lot by uh, listening to other people, what they did on the fire ground, why they chose to do it, what was their thought process, uh, you know, why do they act the way they do. Um, and as you uh, listen to a person and get to know them, you can find out uh, what their actions, uh, what the reasons for their actions are. And then, and then maybe you can help them and encourage them um, to uh, lead a life that is pleasing to God and, and to grow in their faith. And, and you know, my grandmother used to always tell me, God gave you two ears for a reason and one mouth. So you should be listening twice as much uh, as you are, are speaking. And, you know, James goes on to say, not only be quick um, to listen, uh, but um, uh, be slow to use your tongue and slow uh, to anger. You know, we're kind of high strung in the fire service and, and uh, you know, we quickly get angered for one reason or another and then we, you know, spout off and, and have arguments and stuff. And, and James would say, hey, slow your roll. Uh, James would say, listen to other people, 
listen to what's going on around you, don't become angry, you know, talk through things, uh, learn from other people, uh, and in so doing, uh, you will be pleasing to God in everything that you do. Let's pray. Our great Heavenly Father, we do thank you for today, this opportunity to look into your word. Oh, what a blessing to read your word and to be able to grow. Help us to grow. Help us to identify those areas that we need to change and uh, give us the wisdom, the courage to change. And uh, may we be pleasing to you in everything we do. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope and pray that this video has been very encouraging to you and has helped you to grow in your faith as a Christian firefighter. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like sign. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get all the latest videos. And, you know, check out our website, www.fellowshipofchristianfirefighters.org. You can get all of our resources, other videos, articles, daily devotions, Bible studies to help you to grow in your faith. So thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time.